Well, what a game we have in store for you today. The hype has been building all week and the fans are pouring into the stadium. The tension palpable. Stay tuned. We'll have all the action for you live here on EA TV. Good evening and welcome to Alcor, welcome to the Al Bike Stadium, the venue for this one. I'm Derek Ray, getting ready to bring you all the action, accompanied by my broadcasting partner, Stuart Robson. And it is a first test for these two countries here at the 2022 FIFA World Cup. It's the Korea Republic up against Portugal. Well, thanks, Derek. This is such an important game. Both sides will be desperate to start this group well. Let's hope we see some great football today. And the South Korea starting 11. Well, the wingers will be key here. They have to choose the right time to give width and the right time to come infield to support the centre forward. If they can do that, they're a potent front three. No doubt about that. Here's how it looks for Portugal. Rui Patricio is the keeper. Rafael Guerrero starts with Joao Cancelo in the fullback positions. William Carvalho starts alongside Bruno Fernandes in central midfield. And the starting role on attack is handed to Cristiano Ronaldo. And now they get the ball rolling. Cristiano Ronaldo. Well, prior to the last 20 years, Portugal were... Oh, in big chance here, Derek. Well, just look at how poor the defending is here. But I have to say, it's still a very tidy finish. He looked really assured there. Well, the ball is moving once more. How important will that opening goal prove to be? William Carvalho. The referee correctly decided to play advantage. Really good challenge. Juan Inbion. This is looking threatening. Well, he wasn't messing around with the clearance. He read the situation defensively and did his job. Oh, lovely incisive pass. Can he put it away? Not out of the woods yet. Well, the goalkeeper got there in the end. 
Well, his recovery is brilliant here. So athletic. Silva. Here's Ronaldo. Joao Cancelo. William Carvalho. Fantastic work to thwart the danger. Leal. Really doing a fine job of protecting the ball. The referee's letting it go as they keep the ball. Moving forward effectively. Oh, what an opportunity! And a goal! They've increased their lead and they don't want to be throwing it away from here. Well, that's a clinical finish. He just put his head down and smashed it past the keeper. There was no stopping that, was there? So, back underway with the scoreline standing at 2-0. Oh, great attacking play. Can he get one back? What a vital intervention. On. Racing forward, trying to catch them out. Can they keep it going? Oh, surely. And pushed away to safety. Promising attack, this. Play towards the back post. And a no-nonsense clearance. Kim Jin Soo. And he did well to cut it out. What can they do to stop them running at them? And they could get one back here. And saved by the keeper. They favoured a short one here. Leal. Well, giving it a go in a bid to haul them back into this one. Well, they're knocking at the door here, but they need to score soon. Kim Jin Soo. Well, he went strongly into the challenge, and the result is a throw-in. Huang Inbyong. Jung Woo Young. And given away. Now, who can he play it to? Well, didn't go as a plan in the end. Ruben Neves. Ronaldo. Bodies forward and the break looks on. Bruno Fernandes. Well, this could really lift spirits. Still possibilities. And a goalkeeper in great form. And he's just pulled off an absolutely stunning save there. That is brilliant. Far from a good pass. Fernandes, William Carvalho, a real opening now, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, well he's gone for placement but he's missed the target by quite a bit there, that's a poor effort.
deserves credit for winning the ball back. Rafael Leao. And Portugal moving the ball forward. What can they do from here? Not the easiest of situations for the keeper. someone get on the end of this this might be ideal for the counter they need to get bodies back and he's made headway must be and that goes down as a very disappointing attempt well the keeper can't believe his luck that's a really poor effort so the whistle then we're up the halfway stage in this match the one thing about Bruno Fernandes in this game, Stu. Well, underway once more, and it's going to be fascinating to see what developments occur in this second half. the challenge that was required Kim Tae Hwan and the ball with Kim Jin Su Lee Jae Sung Kyung Min Son and space to cross it now the attack will peter out. Keeper's ball. Possession ceded by Portugal. Now options are plenty. Lee Jae Sung. A glorious chance. And diving to thwart him. Over it comes, and clearing it away. And played in. Well, threat averted. Well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break. And the referee spotted the foul, but has played advantage. And he has the measure of his man. Could reduce the deficit. Despite the adversity they suffered earlier. Well, here's the replay. Watch how he goes past his man with such ease. And it's just a change of pace. But you do have to ask questions of the keeper. Could he have done better here? I think so. You can't be beaten at your near post like that. Moving once more. And Portugal, undeniably, right back in this contest now. Wang Hee Chan. And since they have the ball, the referee playing advantage here. And so 30 minutes left for play in this one. Definitely look as though they want to make this move count. Couldn't hang on to the ball. Ronaldo. Oh, in with a chance! And not quite accurate enough, Stuart. Well, I think he should do better there. But at least they're now knocking at the door. Well, they've decided to make a change. Promising looking ball. And it 
It's played into the centre. Unable to keep the ball that time. Has eyes for goal. He nailed this one. What a strike that is from distance. So back underway. 3-1 the score. Joao Felix far from a good pass Juan Uijo 20 minutes to go in this one counter attacking very much an option played into the box well, nicely cut out Huang, Kim Young won. And they keep working away, looking for passing lanes. Well, let's see about the cross. Well, that's the end of that for now. Lee Jae Sung. Kim Tae Huang. And space to cross it. Well, here's the replay, and it all starts with the delivery into the box. Just begging someone to get on the end of it. It's a good finish, too. Son judges the fly to the ball, attacks it with determination, and makes solid contact. What a good goal that is. Goals and plentiful supply. 4-1 currently. Joao Felix. Well, what can they do to stop him running at them? Chance to finish! And begging to be put away! And the keeper nowhere to be found, not that he's complaining. Well, just look at the defending here. They've made it so easy for him in the end. That's just not good enough. So the current scoreline, 4-2. Kim Young-won. And Lee Jae Sung with it. And players waiting in the centre. Joao Cancelo. Well, just look at his movement. He knows exactly how to find space. And it's also a tidy finish. That's a nice goal.
Kim. Quang. And he keeps going. Decent cross, but nobody in the vicinity. Silva. Bodies forward, and the break looks on. Well, adding up all the stoppages, we will have three extra minutes. And the keeper flings himself at the ball. Well, this late corner could represent the last chance to equalise. And there's the delivery. And they couldn't take advantage of the chance. Oh, skipping away. And he's broken free. Surely. And he finds the net. He could hardly miss. Well, as you can see, the defending is really poor, but he won't mind. It's a simple finish for him. And there goes the final whistle. It goes into the history books as a win for them. So morale is high. Stuart, your analysis. Well, fairly comfortable in the end, wasn't it? Thought they controlled the middle of the park well. Going forward, there was some really nice, incisive play too. It's a good result for them. But it just seems that this game, he's been a step ahead of his opponents in every way, Stuart. Well, that was a top-class display, wasn't it? He did everything right. He inspired them to victory here today.